Uh, let's take a look at our first equation. y equals negative 3x plus 6. And then we're also going to graph the equation of y equals 2x minus 4. Now, um, I've written them in two different colors because we'll draw two different lines in two different colors. So first, let's start with the yellow. Uh, negative 3x plus 6, when we go to graph it, we start at the y-intercept of 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot at the y-intercept, uh, and that's 6. Then, I'm going to go ahead and use the slope of negative 3 over 1, and I'll write that out so you can see it. Um, m equals negative 3 over 1, which, by the way, is the same slope as 3 over negative 1, which I could use this if this was better for me. But we'll do rise negative 3 and run positive 1. So rise 0, 1, 2, 3, and then run positive 1. And I'm going to go ahead and put a dot. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll rise negative 1, 2, 3, and then run positive 1. And then we'll rise negative 1, 2, 3, and then run positive 1. Notice how I use the slope several times. Now let's go ahead and uh, make a line. Um, and then we'll go ahead and work on the red equation. So if I want to go ahead and make a line that goes through these points, there we go. Next, uh, red equation. In the red equation, uh, I start at the y-intercept of negative 4. So uh, uh, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And I'll go ahead and put the y-intercept there. Then my slope is 2 over 1. So again, m equals 2 over 1. Uh, and again, that could be written negative 2 over negative 1 if that served my purposes better. So we'll use positive rise 2, run 1. So rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. We can already begin to see something interesting happen here. Rise 2, run 1. And, uh, and we'll go one more time. Rise 2, run 1. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and make a line that will connect these points. And when I do, we can see that the point where the two lines cross is right here at x is 2, y is 0. So I'm going to go ahead and make that really clear. Let's go ahead and uh, il uh, illustrate that. There's the point where the two lines cross. This point is known as the solution to the system of equations. Now, uh, first of all, let's let's illustrate what it is. It's in this case, it's x is two and y is zero. And notice it's an ordered pair with parentheses and a comma in between. The two represents x, and the zero represents y. And uh, when we say that this is a solution to the system of equations, what we mean is is that if I take x equals two, and I plug it in here, I should get y equals zero. And if I take x equals 2 and plug it in here, I should get y equals 0. And since this 2 and 0 both make, these true, make this statement true and this statement true, we call this a solution to this system of equations. Now, we could test this really quickly, and we probably should. Um, let's see, if I put 2 in here, I get negative 6 plus 6, that's 0. And if I put 2 in here, I get 4 minus 4, that's 0. So sure enough, this works. The next system of equations that we're going to graph looks like this. 2x minus y equals 3. And uh, again, I'll write them in two different colors. So x plus 2y equals 4. And you'll notice that for this system of equations, um, the, the, they look like they're in standard form, whereas the other two were in slope-intercept form. So to graph these, we're either going to have to use intercepts or we're going to have to convert to y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, 
uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna convert to y equals mx plus b. So we'll do um, 2x uh, equals y plus 3 and I'm gonna make that into y equals 2x minus 3. So there's one equation. And with this uh, slope-intercept form, it's going to be easy to graph. Uh, 2x minus 3, so y-intercept of negative 3. So a 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And then we'll use the slope of 2 over 1. So rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. And uh, I might need to go back and do more of that, but let's go ahead and do the red line. So I'm going to rearrange this to get it into slo uh, slope-intercept form. So we'll say that 2y is equal to negative x plus 4. Divide everything through by 2. That gets us y equals negative 1 half x um, plus 2, and so we end up with a slope of negative 1 half, which can be written as negative 1 over 2, or it can be written as 1 over negative 2. So we'll start with the y-intercept of 2. Here's the y-intercept of 2, again 0, 1, 2, and then from there we will rise negative 1 and run 2 rise negative 1, run 2, oops, that sure looks like the point where they cross, rise negative 1, run 2, rise negative 1, run 2, and maybe just for fun, rise, oh, let's rise positive 1 and run negative 2, rise 1, run negative 2, and then we'll go and we'll put our lines here. So for the red line, there we go, and for the yellow line, here we go. And again, we can see the point where the two lines cross pretty clearly. It's right here. And so the solution to our system of equations, again, that the point where the two lines cross, that's known as the solution. Um, the solution in this case is uh, x is 2, y is 1. 2, comma, 1. And again, if th this is x and this is y, yeah, if I take this x and put it in um, to these two initial equations, if I put x in here as 2 and x in here as 2, and if I put y in here as 1 and y in here as 1, um, this guy down here will add up to 4 and this guy down here will add up to 3. This guy up here will add up to 3. So let's just try it. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1, that's 3. And uh, 2 plus 2 times 1, that's 2 plus 2 is 4. So sure enough, this is the solution to the system of equations. So here's another system of equations that we'd like to solve by graphing. And it looks a little different than the other we, others we've seen. Um, y equals negative x minus 2, that's the first equation. And then the next equation, uh, notice that's in slope-intercept form. The next equation is in... Uh, what looks like standard form, and that's okay. Um, we'll just rearrange this second equation so that it is in slope-intercept form. So uh, we'll just move the x from to the left to the right. We'll, we'll subtract x from both sides. That gets us negative x minus 4. And then we'll try to graph the two lines. This time I'll start with the red. So um, the slope for this guy is negative 1 which is the same as negative 1 over 1, and it's also the same as 1 over negative 1. So uh, it will start with the y-intercept of negative 4, and that's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and then we will rise 1 and run negative 1. So rise 1, run negative 1. Rise 1, run negative 1 rise 1, run negative 1, and again, there we go. And then let's take a look at the yellow line. Start at negative 2. Here's our y-intercept of negative 2 that I get from this guy right here. 
and uh, then our slope is the same slope it's negative one so uh, negative one over one or one over negative one uh, I'm gonna go rise one run negative one rise one run negative one rise one run negative one and etc and what you might notice is that it looks like the two lines are parallel and it turns out when the two lines are parallel they never cross so hopefully you're getting the idea from the last couple of examples that in order to get a solution to a system of two equations the lines have to cross since these don't um, we will conclude that in this particular case there is no solution in other words there is no pair of x's and y's that will make both of these uh, 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 both of these equations true so we get no solution let's look at one another uh, system of equations and we'll start with negative 2x plus 2y equals negative 10 and then the next equation is, uh, that by the way was in sort of, it looks a little bit like standard form, except notice that the a is negative. And then in slope-intercept form, the second equation, y equals x minus 5. Now, uh, I'm going to rearrange the first equation in order to get it into uh, slope-intercept form. So we'll have 2y equals 2x minus 10. And then I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2, and divide by 2. And when I do, I get y equals x minus 5. You'll notice that the two equations are the same. Um, that turns out when, when you have that, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll graph it. Uh, x is negative 5, so um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my y-intercept. And then slope of 1 over 1. So we rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run 1, rise 1, run 1, and one more time. Um, so what ends up happening is, is the two lines overlap. And what we call this is uh, we have infinite number of solutions here. We end up with two lines that overlap and these two and so basically we have one line and uh, and so if between the two equations we have an infinite number of solutions because any any x y pair that makes this equation true is also going to make this equation true so for that reason um, this could be called infinite solutions I don't love that uh, answer though because it doesn't really clearly state what's going on here it doesn't tell you what the solutions are it's not every solution uh, for instance over here that's not a solution and that's not a solution and that's not a solution so it's true there's an infinite number of solutions but they're all on this this line so probably a better way to call this is uh, it's known as an identity where the two equations are the same and so so we say that I, it's an identity um, this equation is the same as this equation well hopefully you're still with me we have one last example to look at and this one should be pretty light and easy uh, x equals negative three and uh, oh, let's do the other equation in red y equals two so uh, for this, you have to recall that in order to uh, graph the line x equals negative 3, you have to realize that what's true is, is if we go zero, uh, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, what it means is, is that every, every point on this line, x equals negative 3, has an x value of negative 3. So here's x is negative 3, and x is negative 3, and x is negative 3, and x is negative 3. These all have negative 3 for x and by the way there's many many points in between that have that, that that's true for as well and then likewise y equals 2 for uh, uh, every single point on this equation this line uh, is at y equals 2 and I'm just gonna put down the dots at y equals 2 um, for x values that are integers but there's lots and lots of 
points on this line where y equals 2 uh, that are in between all these red dots. So we'll go ahead and we'll clean this up and we'll go ahead and add the yellow line and we'll add the red line and we can see where the two lines cross and again we call the point where the two lines cross the solution. So in this particular case the solution the point where the two lines cross is at uh, x is negative 3 and y is 2. And in this particular situation what's very interesting is is it's sort of what's given to you in the first place. x is equal to negative 3 and y equals 2. Well there you have it. Now you know everything you need to know about solving system of equations through graphing.